Lisa Rally, Living Without Limits, brought to you by Serta. Serta, get your Serta bedset at one of the following stores. The Triple Crown is a global endurance swimming event, a true test of stamina. It incorporates a solo crossing of the English Channel, Catalina Channel and a Manhattan Island Marathon swim. To date, only 51 swimmers in the world have ever done it. And Roger Finch is about to. Get ready to be inspired. Roger, what's going through your head when you're out there in the pitch black in the middle of nowhere with waves all around you and it's freezing cold? I mean, surely that's very scary. Yes, it is. It is initially. It's scary until you settle down into your swim and you get a rhythm going. And then uh, just look around and, and look at the, the, the raw beauty. And I'm so thankful and grateful that I, that I could actually be out there. Was this something you always wanted to do or was it something that you just stumbled upon? No, I just stumbled across it. And as I mentioned, I, had a broke, I broke my pelvis badly. And it took about a year to to get going again mm -hmm. and I went to the pool for rehabilitation then I went to swim a little bit of outdoor stuff at Midmar and I took off from there. The English Channel was your first major swim. 90% of people do not complete it. So what sort of training did you need to do in order to prepare yourself for this kind of challenge? I trained uh, six to seven days a week um, in the pool mostly and then down to Cape Town every month for multiple Robben Island to Cape Town crossings and cold water acclimatization, cold water swimming, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of ocean swimming. Which was tougher, the English Channel or the Manhattan Island Marathon? The English Channel is extremely tough mentally. You can get yourself physically fit enough, and most people are, to, to actually cross the channel, but mentally if you're not tough, you, you know, it's, you're not going to get across. And the Manhattan is very different because it starts at a certain time on a certain day and the weather is going to be good and you know that it is going to be 46.2 kilometers, whereas the English Channel washes you up and down the channel as the tides change. Crazy. And yeah, you don't know where you're going to end up. So with the English Channel, you have no idea whether you're actually going to swim on that day or not? Yes. They, okay. You're watching the weather and you get, a, you get a few alerts and then they say, no, sorry, we can't go. Go back and sleep or wait. Um, and then eventually you get your call. Mm -hmm. And when you tell your team that it's time to go, mm -hmm. two o'clock tomorrow morning, meet at the marina, they just go silent. So 170 people have completed the Catalina swim, ever. Did you know that? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> Am I making you nervous? <laughs> uh, <little laughs> so what is going to be your biggest challenge, do you think? The Catalina swim it will be a difficult one because the, the wind comes up during the day and the ocean becomes very rough. Uh, so all the swims start at midnight. So you've got to swim right through the night and most of the day. Yeah, it's, it's tough. That's very tough. <laughs> Same distance as the English Channel. So what is your key to a successful swim? Preparation. Do a lot of hard work, training. If it's going to be a cold swim, swim cold. Mm -hmm. If it's a long swim, you've got to swim long. Okay. And then you'll be at peace once you get there and then your support team. Without a great support team, mm. you're not going to make any swim. Cool, well congratulations, well done, good luck. I mean, it's goosebump stuff. You're an amazing, ah, amazing ah. human being. Thank and I'm you. really proud to have met you today. Thank you, thank you so much. At the age of 54, Roger's now a member of the Half Century Club. That's exclusively for swimmers who are over 50 and have completed a channel or marathon swim of note. Roger is one of those amazing men that make you want to be more and do more. He is totally inspiring and I had goosebumps from my head to my toes throughout the whole interview. He's not worried about those extreme conditions that he's swimming under. He's just so grateful to be doing what he's doing. I think we've got a lot to learn from a man like this.